Hi everyone, I'm Kat and this is Real Talk Toronto. If you're new to the show, welcome and I hope you enjoy. Toronto is a hotspot for creatives and culture. And in this video, we're going to have a look at one of the hubs of the city. The Art Gallery of Ontario may not seem cutting edge, but the AGO has a lot to discover. First, if you're worried about fitting in, the only thing you should know about the art world is that there's just one rule. Don't be scared to be yourself. That's it. Now, let's dive in. To start, the AGO is a fantastic place to go because the architecture is beautiful and inviting. World-famous architect Frank Gehry designed it and made the space itself a work of art. Second, it's got spots where you can sit down over coffee and discuss the things you see, or just relax and take a breather between pieces. Many people think of museums as grim or quiet places, and the great part of the Art Gallery of Ontario is that it does not have to be that way. Next, so let's say you're in front of a piece of art and it makes no sense to you. To that I say, great, you're one step closer to getting it. What I mean by that is, art is meant to be felt, not necessarily to be understood. The next time you're standing in front of a funny painting or statue, Watch yourself for what feelings or questions come up for you when you look at it. The great part of the AGO is that there's a huge range of work there. The first two floors are typically more traditional work, such as paintings or statues. The third floor is safe for event spaces, but the fourth and fifth are for modern work that explores the boundaries of what art really is. So it may be a pile of chairs next to a recording of the wind in Antarctica, and maybe that's what you're into because paintings bore you to each their own. Personally, I avoid the fifth floor at all costs because I find it kind of grotesque and dark, but some people love going up there and discussing the work and how controversial it is. Either way, it would probably make a great spot to take a date or a friend because of how shocking it is. You definitely have something to talk about. So there you go. Whether you want to cruise for food or photo opportunities, get to see some beautiful things or laugh at some of the stuff that's a little out there. The AGO is a great spot to get started if you want to expand your world. Don't be scared to give it a shot this year and to just enjoy it. That's all for now guys. Thank you for watching and keep it real. Thanks guys for tuning in until the end of the video. We really appreciate it and if you could comment down below to let us know what you guys want to see next, that would be awesome.